Thanks guys for tuning in to a very special episode of The Bullet Points. It is really windy where we're at today, so forgive us if there's uh, any bad audio. Um, to my right here is Casey Jones, and to my left is Raphael from the epic movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles during their first battle scene. So today we have out here the kel KSG 12 gauge shotgun, as well as the Utosh UTS-15 12 gauge shotgun. We're going to put these head to head see, uh, and kind of give you guys a point system and see how they rate out. Both kind of controversial shotguns, they're both two of the most popular tactical shotguns right now, but uh, some people love each one, some people hate each one, so we're just going to do a non-biased opinion, go through them, and uh, we've done previous uh, full-length reviews, field reviews of each of these weapons, so go check those out. Um, we had good luck with the Caltech KSG in the past, the Utosh 15, uh, UTS-15 was uh, interesting. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take these out in the field and uh, just score and see how they do. Okay, so to go over the specs a little bit of each gun before we start doing some of the, uh, the field tests with them. Starting off with the Utosh UTS-15. This uh, comes in at uh, 6.9 pounds unloaded. As far as the kel KSG, that also comes in at just about 6.9 pounds unloaded. So as far as weight goes, it's a tie. So as you can see with the overall length, the, uh, the edge goes to the kel KSG. It's much more of a uh, shorter design. They're both technically bullpup shotguns, uh, both pump action, but the, uh, the edge goes to the kel -Tec. This overall length is 26.1 inches, so just barely over the legal limit as far as the, uh, the total size of the gun, which is great. The uh, Utosh UTS-15 comes in at 28.3 inches overall length. They both have 18 and a half inch barrels. That's the shortest length of barrel you can have in the United States legally. Um, so they both are very compact, um, but as you can tell, the overall size, um, the advantage definitely goes to the KSG because it's just a lot more, more condensed and uh, doesn't have you know like a car attached to it. They're both 14 plus one capacity if you're using two and three quarter inch shells. If you're using three inch shells, then it's uh, 12 plus one, so it's 13 total capacity. Um, the nice thing about the Utosh system here is that they do have the, uh, the exposed uh, magazine tubes here, the witness windows, so you can see exactly how many shells you have in, uh, have in there and that you've loaded in so you can kind of keep track of how many you've uh, uh, expended. Um, the nice thing about uh, Utosh is the fact that it's very visible, it's highly visible, but um, then of course that's a really easy way for junk, grime, dirt, sand to get in here and possibly cause you some magazine problems. So make sure you t take that apart and clean it out once in a while. So with the kel KSG, again, you're looking at the same capacity. Um, they're both the same as far as the 14 plus one with two and three quarter inch shells or 12 plus one with three inch shells. Um, this one has the dual magazine tubes. Both feature dual magazine tubes. This one has them on the bottom instead of the top. With the kel KSG, you also have witness windows of the magazine tubes that face up. But unlike the uh, Utosh UTS-15, these are not numbered. As far as the ejection ports on each uh, shotgun, for the Utosh, it ejects on the right side only here. As far as I know, they have uh, no plans as of this date to come up with any kind of ambidextrous system, so your shells are always going to eject to the right. So if you're a left-handed shooter, that's gonna be some hot brass. The kel KSG, it actually ejects straight out of the bottom. For you lefties out there, this is your shotgun, Advantage KSG. As far as the selector goes, for the Utosh UTS-15, you have a selector right up top here where you can switch it to one side, it cuts off the right magazine, swip, uh, switch it to the left side, cuts off the left magazine, or if you leave it in the middle, this is a feature the kel KSG does not have, if you leave it in the middle, it'll actually alternate and take one at a time from each side. With the kel KSG, you have a selector switch down here. You can cut off one side, cut off the other side, or in the middle, it cuts off both tubes. So with this feature right here for the UTS-15, the fact that you can alternate magazine tubes and take from both, you can, uh, obviously you have to pump in between each one, but you can expend all 15 rounds without stopping to have to switch over the selector lever like you do in the KSG once one magazine is empty. So, advantage, UTS-15. As far as accessories go, aftermarket accessories, they're about the same right now. It's hard to find accessories for the uh, Utosh UTS-15. There's a few companies you can find online where now they can make mounts for the, uh, the foregrips to where you can actually install a Picatinny rail on here if you want to put on a vertical grip. Um, reports are that that is helping the action a lot when you have a vertical grip on this. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll see more aftermarket parts coming out for this as well as they'll be able to uh, fix any quality control issues they've had in the past with the uh, light laser combo that's supposed to be up front since we got the deluxe model. So we've not even had the chance to test that yet. As 
As far as the kel KSG, for its aftermarket parts, you can find a wide array of, I mean, you can throw pretty much anything on here because the uh, where the kel has an advantage over the, the Utosh is the fact that you have Picatinny rails on the top and the bottom. So if you want to throw a light, laser, if you want to throw a, a vertical grip on this, if you want to throw any kind of optic like an EOTech or holographic if you wish, I mean, you can customize it with just about anything. Um, now, to be fair to uh, Utosh, though, Caltech does not send you any kind of sights with this weapon. It comes with just the Picatinny rail. So, if you want to add, like, some, uh, we have some Magpul Inbus uh, backup sights. Um, so, we added those, um, but you have to buy them separately. So, uh, advantage Utosh as far as the fact that it actually comes with some accessories um, if you buy the deluxe model like we did. For the uh, Utosh UTS-15, this one has uh, built in a couple of the loudest swing swivels you'll ever hear. These are really loud, they're very clunky, very annoying. Um, it does come with them, I think all the models come with those, which is nice, but uh, these are not preferable. I would switch those out as fast as possible. As far as the Keltec KSG, this has your sling mounts built in a lot more securely and easily accessible in the back here and in the front on either side, so it's ambidextrous. So I'd say the advantage goes to the KSG as far as that goes. So we've got the kel KSG here, and uh, we've got both tubes loaded up completely, so it's uh, 14 rounds in here. I didn't put one in the chamber, but um, I'm going to go through 14 as fast as I can, and then we'll see how the UTS compares. So we've got the timer ready? Ready. Ready? Go! Twelve nine three. So just shy of thirteen seconds, and that was a user error of uh, slowly um, getting the dead round in there and then uh, switching magazine tubes. So that could have been faster if uh, somebody was more familiar with the gun. All right, so uh, we just did the time trial with the KSG and came in just under thirteen seconds. A um, little bit of a user error there because I didn't go underneath and actually flip the tubes over. This is where the uh, the UTS may actually have an advantage. Because of this selector switch, rather than cutting off one tube and having to move over to the other, if you leave it in the center, it should actually pull one from one side and one from the other and alternate. So um, if that is the case, then uh, this one should have a little bit of an advantage. We'll see how it does. Ready? And go! How many seconds we at? 15. Yep, that's the KSG one. Okay, so now for this round, we're gonna test out and see which one's faster to reload. So we got 14 rounds set up here, 14 right here. Uh, both these obviously take the same exact amount. Um, you know, so as you can, I don't know if you're, anyone that's familiar with the KSG, this is kind of the standard um, follower system that you're gonna use, you know, like with your 870 or your Mossberg 500. It's really, it's really similar. It's gonna be a bottom loading one. This one here is a little different. It's gonna go from the side and it has two different loading ports. Uh, well, they both they both have two look two different magazines that they're gonna go into. But this one has one on each side of it. That's the weapon. Uh, these ones on the KSG are both at the same location. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out and see what see who comes out on top. Load. Time. KSG winner by at least three shells. This one was a little difficult. Uh, I actually had a couple, a couple of shells that ended up going straight into the chamber, so I had to pull those ones out. Probably not a good thing. Uh, but the good news is, you can, I mean, it's, it's fairly simple. You just get it in a little groove here. The thumb goes in, it, and it, you know, the rounds in the magazine. So this one's a little bit more difficult because when you close these little. Um, magazine tube uh, 
dust covers here. When you close them, it pushes the follower or the plunger all the way down. So before you even load your first round, you have to feed that up almost as if it was a bullet or a, uh, a shot shell. And then from there, you can start loading them. Okay, so right now we're going to be doing the test of we've got uh, bird shot in the right magazine, we've got buck shot in the left magazine. So I'm going to just test out the recoil difference between the two. So the buckshot magazine tube is being cut off right now. And then go ahead and saw the birdshot one go in. All right. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cut off the right tube. We're going to use the buck. All right. The buck sure seemed to make a huge, uh, huge dent in that bottle. Uh, the buckshot really had a lot more recoil to it. I really like the feel of this shotgun, though. Um, it, wasn't, it still wasn't, wasn't too bad, so we're going to go ahead and try the KSG. Now we got the KSG. We've got the uh, birdshot in the left tube and the buckshot in the right tube. Right now we're set up to go off of the birdshot tube. So I'm going to go ahead and flip up our mag pull sights. All right, nice. So, what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to manually swap that over. Now we're taking it from the right tube. Well, uh, the recoil on, on both of them, the UTS and the KSG, felt very identical with uh, both types of shells. Uh, what I did like about the KSG a little bit more was the cheek rest. It's actually like a metal cheek rest versus the, uh, the UTS has a plastic one. Uh, this one's just a little bit smoother, a little bit more comfortable when your cheek gets up against it. Obviously a big downside with the KSG is the, uh, the manual selector switch here for the magazine. Um, you know, it, we, we used it for the UTS for this exercise as well. Uh, but this here, you don't have the option you absolutely to switch the magazine tubes. You have to switch it manually. The UTS, you don't. Um, the feel for both of them felt, you know, they felt great. One thing uh, just to note is the pistol grip here on the on the KSG is not interchangeable. It is uh, interchangeable on the UTS. So this one here, actually, I, I give a Keltec big thumbs up. The pistol grip felt a lot better than the KS than the UTS, uh, but it's UTS a little bit more versatile because you can take any aftermarket AR-15 grip and you can swap that out as well. So this round, I'm actually going to go ahead and give give a big win to the UTS. Uh, just a little bit more more versatile. So what we're going to go and test right now is kind of the overall functionality of uh, cycling rounds and also studying the magazine release. That's one thing we didn't talk about earlier. The magazine release on the UTS-15 is down here at the bottom of the stock. Not a very convenient place. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, test a few rounds with it. Awesome. That goes down there. You'll come to love this thing if you have a UTS-15. It's really handy. All right, so let's try that again. That's weird. Are you guys watching this? So it's just, it's uh, kind of stopped being a weapon at this point. Let's go ahead and try throwing in another shell or two. See if we can get this bad boy working. Let's try cutting off one tube and see if that helps. Okay, that helps. Uh, well, this thing, uh, it kind of works. It's uh, kind of a shotgun. All right, so now we're gonna test the overall functionality of the kel KSG. Um, first thing to point out about this, it's really nice. The uh, action release or pump release is right here on the forward part of the trigger guard. All you're doing is pressing down just a little bit to release it. Much better design, much better ergonomics compared to the UTS-15. Okay, 
guess try throwing in a couple extra shells if I need that. Put it on safe. So I like the overall functionality better of the KSG just for the fact that the action release or pump release is up here. Ergonomics, that's so much cleaner, so much easier, so much more comfortable. Loading shells in, also advantage KSG for the fact that you can throw them in right here. It's extremely easy, easy to get to. Um, with the Utah, you have the side loading, you have the followers that spring shut. Um, it's just, it's kind of a pain in the butt with that one. So overall uh, cycling, reloading, Action release, advantage KSG by far.